In this video, we'll look at what happens when you put FeCl3 plus H2O. That's iron 3 chloride plus water. Iron, that's a metal, and then chlorine, that's a nonmetal. That means we have an ionic compound, and often they're soluble in water, but not always. When we have a chloride, we're often thinking that it's going to be soluble as well. But let's check on the solubility table just to make sure. So here's the solubility table. We're going to look at iron 3. So we go down, and here's iron 2. We want iron 3, Fe3+. Then we'll go across. We're going to find the chloride. There's chloride, Cl-. We go down, and then there it is, an S. So it is soluble in water. So we can go back now and write the equation. So we have our solid iron 3 chloride and then our liquid water. So we'll put the iron 3 chloride into the water and it'll dissolve and dissociate. It'll break apart into its ions at Fe3 plus and then the Cl minus. So let's write that. We have Fe3 plus and then we have Cl minus. This 3 here tells us that we have 3 Cl minuses. So we need to put a coefficient of 3 in front of the Cl minus. Since we put this in water and it dissolved, we now say it's aqueous. It's dissolved in water. Put a little aq after it. Since we wrote aqueous here, we're saying these are dissolved in water, so we don't need to put water on this side of the equation. And that makes this the equation for FeCl3 plus H2O. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.